takes you no less than 11 months to put one week of show together. Oh. I, I, have, I was blessed to have teams from six very important distributors worldwide about the Iranian films. And I was also lucky to have the film freeway uh, on my back to send me all the movies that I could watch. We had, according to the film freeway, we had to watch 274 feature films, plus all the other films from the distributors, which is about more than you know, uh, 40, it's over 300 to choose 11 feature films. But we have, of course, some category of immediate release. In so, for example, if a movie is dates back to 2017, we don't take it. So there are some categories like what should be only two years old and should be premier series. These are the categories that you can see it on the net. And uh, again, on September uh, uh, of this coming year, we open the gate. And even before that, the third category is the independent filmmaker that we send their movies, neither from distributor nor from film freeway directly to my staff. So, so you have a team of people watching the movies? Yes, the, everything is written there that what we are searching for. But you know, it is very difficult to go only with the keywords. So sometimes, you know, this year is about a woman. I wish every year was about women because you know that's a different story. Uh, so, uh, but they said you know it's very difficult sometimes if you are searching with the keywords. Uh, what is a movie? Is it a woman playing in it, or is it what well, is every movie that's a woman? Playing? But it's a, it's not so obvious uh, the, the the classification. It's about the genre when you go what you have at the beginning. You do have the feature. You have the documentary, then you have the short, you know, uh, I mean, when I say feature, you have fiction and documentary, and you have the short and feature. So these are the big categories, but the feature itself or the fiction can go to the war movies, it can go to the, you know, just all kinds of genres, I'm sure that there's no need to talk about. Mm -hmm. This year we had the key words of the stories around the woman. And I'm very, very pleased that you can see the movies beyond the imagination that they made. Yaldo is about forgiveness because certain countries, I'm, just, I'm sure that you, you know about that, especially certain laws are attached to religion. So therefore, like two women would count as one or, or some or many other things that they have developed around this theme. So therefore, all we have this year is a, 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 a movie that goes beyond, that really makes you cry. Hava, Maryam, and Aisha is a story of three Afghani women. The movie was made by a brilliant young Afghani, which lived in Iran, which went to school in Iran, and now is one of the excellent filmmaker of the future. This one by itself is was featured in the news last year. It's one of our movies. It's, it, it, is, it, is, it is excellent to be about women. How they suffer. I didn't hear you. What's the name of this movie? Hava, Maria, Aisha. This is the, the name of three women. Mm -hmm. It's a story of three women uh, in an extremely, extremely difficult condition to make a difficult decision. So uh, we have this way of selecting the movies among so many. This is why it takes too long to watch them. We also, uh, I should also add that we have very talented people in Iran that they choose movies for us. The head of this short is uh, is a, is a cameraman who already won many prizes. And uh, Amin Jafari is the one in Iran that is responsible with Saeed, 
for the smile and for the souls. And we also have a German here in Zurich, which is a producer of movie, and uh, some other people in Iran in a selection committee. So that's a very, very difficult job. Already some uh, triage, uh, some kind of a, mm. uh, you know, uh, you know, you should put out. We also, I should note that the Iranian film festival, Hash, which is a brilliant film festival, when they select 23 movies every year, we try to get some of those because this is already an immense triage between 265 each year that Iran produces. So they select 23 out of that. And our goal is to go to their panier, to their basket of those 23 to choose. And that's, that's what, yeah. So if um, people don't have time to watch all of the Eleven feature of film. Uh, can you name a few that we should watch, uh, that we should not miss? I know, I know you like them all, but uh, let's say we have time only for one. Which one should it be? What do you think? Uh, silhouette. It's a documentary film that I should not like it, but I love it. There is very simple. This movie is about a family who also like myself, like yourself, uh, are irrational. Their root is out. They put their life in a suitcase, which that suitcase, I mean, symbolically a dream suitcase. And they move to another country, like all of us. But the laws of the country from one to another between this 193 official members of the United Nations, there is nothing in common. Some people, they accept you as a citizen, not just residents, by soil, such as France, I suppose, such as United States. When you are born there, you are French or you are American. Some countries, such as Switzerland, you have to be here 12 years. And if you are a good citizen, then they may kindly tell you that you can be. No, you can apply. I'm sure that you, everybody knows about that, uh, the, the makers of Swiss, Emil was playing in that. Everybody knows it. It's just a, like a magnificent comedy. So in Iran, I should say, double, double nationality is not accepted. And the second, you doesn't matter if you live there for 1,000 years, you will not become Iran. They will not accept you. Mm -hmm. And there are many countries. And this, as I said, I should not like it because it's something that brings a very important point that this family lived there for 30 years, done by an Iranian girl, brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I really brought me to my tears that after all, where is home now? They came from Afghanistan because there was a war. 30 years in a country having all the members of the family born there. But then know what? They cannot have a proper job. They can go to university, of course. But then again, what after? So this silhouette or Hane, call it home, which, which done by this uh, very talented girl, Afton Tabari, that she lives now in Paris, of course. This is my heart. And this is what touched me so much. Uh, of course, the next comes to Havel, uh, that again made by an Afghan, this time girl, went to Kabul, made that movie. And uh, yeah, but uh, you know, Yalda, I should say, it, 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 the way that this man, Masoud Bakhshi, made this movie. It's an American star making the movie that you can, you can, there's a show that when you, this woman that accidentally killed the husband has to come there to ask forgiveness from the daughter. And then that Yalda, which is a very famous night in Iran, the longest night of the year, that's the night of Yalda that that movie takes place. 
Oh, no, I should say that all of them. But I mentioned you already three or four, so yeah. that's good enough.